question? Yeah. It means why do you have to keep the elbow? If you open the elbow, she still stay with your hands. If you hold, just like flip something to hold, so the negative energy will release from your fingers. So you hold them, pull back like that. Yeah. So if you go like that, so certain, certain energy is still on your hands. So. Yeah. Yeah. Can you come down? Can you come down? Can you say gently or a little bit? Gently. No, uh, you don't feel harsh on your heel. You know, otherwise, you damage you. Right? Uh, when you come up, is that not that? Up to the lungs. It's not that. Uh, no, just up to here. Yeah. Just the Open the chest. It's just the, is it the same, same, uh, same as here, this one. Right. And, uh, and, when, and when you push out, is it the same? Hair pound to hair pound. Triangle. Triangle. It's a bit like this one. That's why you need to do a balancing go. So you see, up, up to here, you see, up to here, and then turn your hands. You see, push up. You want me to do it one more time? Yes, Question? In this movement, the arms come up mm, straight or a little bit better? Right, right, right. It's not like that. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be tense. So, round, round, tense is here. Yeah. There's always a two part one is soft, one is tense, just like your heart or your breathing. So, this is soft. And the stretching is tense. But tense without you know, uh, tension on your hand, on your mind, and also the muscle. It's a stretching. So, leg must be straight. Because you stretch from here. If you bend your knees, it's totally different things. And you're quite easy to lose bottom. So, come from the Dantian. Open stretch. Now you can see the sky. Everything open. Yes, yeah, straight away. Actually, no pause at the end. But when I teach you, I will make sure you you will do this and above and this and above on the toes like that. So that's why I will emphasize it. But it's just like the uh, the monkey. There's no pause at the end. Also, it's not drop. That's not drop. Not dropping wings. Flow your wings. Flow. You know, your wings flow back. The wild goose. So not drop. Drop is the cheese gone. So open. So your flow wings, your chest open. Drop wings, your chest not open. Your cheek wings will not open. Okay. Any question? It's all even later. The cloud hand too. Flow your wings. Flow, but not drop. Every time you drop, the chi is different. Any question? Is that saying the, the, the final pause? So is that when we have the third that third? Is that just so now before the flick and pause before the flick? Is that so? For learning now, we move the hands over and then pause the flick. No. Is that pause still there when we actually have the... It's the pause still a little bit, a little bit. Basically, slow it down. You don't need to pause too long. It's just hold for 
But when you do it, actually, it's no, not really pause. Yeah, see? It's all together. It's because all together. I, when I teach, I need to emphasize that part so you know you're holding the energy here and reflect. Any question? When you get there, you hold yeah. your tense, your fingers, but up to here, relax. Yeah. Relax, so your head will form, cheek and release. Mm -hmm. If you're still holding like that, you tense. Bending those to the wings, it's tense, so that there's no cheek, no rub. Why do you do this in the first place? Because each finger is related to organs. Spin, liver, heart, lung, kidney. When you close them, so all the chi goes back to the organs. And then you bring it back to here. You collect the chi and it's like, you draw the chi and then collect them. And put it into the jaw. So like you, you collect all the, uh, any, any of your stuff. And you put it in the jaw, so you need to collect and put it back to the kids. That's why I close five kids. If you just like that, eh? There's no collection. When do you collect? When do you collect? When you move. Oh, when I move, then I collect. Yeah. You collect the chi to the kidneys. No, I thought I moved. I collected that out here. Uh, it's kind of a continual close. Okay. Yeah, like that. So not suddenly close. A continual. Open, close. <laughs> Yeah. After you pass the shoulder, you start to close. Okay, after you pass the yeah. shoulder. Yeah. Correct. Standing on uh, all the ball of your feet. Yep. When you talk about all of your feet, you're actually talking about this feet yeah. Yeah, and the toes. Yeah. And if you wobble about a bit when you're doing it, mm. is that all right? It's all right. <laughs> Even the same time as I walk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's important that it's the ball and the toes that you you want, and not just the toes, because if you go too high, it's, <laughs> it should be the <laughs> should be the ball just for the, the feet. Yeah. Yeah. Because that is more balance. The toes is it become ballet, you know, yeah. become yeah. different things, you know. <laughs> you really know. It's like that. So basically, it's just lift up your heel. So see how much you can hold your balance and then come back. So that's kind of a releasing. And, and you know, if you can, you, when you stand on the ball of the feet, you have to be light. You can't be rigid. When you're rigid, you lose balance. So kind of open and close. You're from the whole body. Yeah. That's why I'm on the ball of the feet. Yeah. Good. There's a lot and lot of details. So. The hand should be lower than the elbow, not higher as well. Yeah. Then the negative energy can be okay. out. Yeah, if it's high, so, yeah. so the hand is going to run back to you. Right. Yeah. Anything else? Ready to, for the next move? Or do you want a sh short break first? No. Carry on. Go hard to the lungs. A little bit lean back. Forward, same. Head up on to head up on. And this part exactly the same. No difference. Relax. Now make sure when you bring your head wings to the central part of your kidney, shoulders relax. That's why you shouldn't be close your fingers. Because you close your fingers quite easily, tens up the shoulders. And separate. So we did. We do second time, and it's twice. The next part, leg straight. Come up, leg straight. Lao Kung Pong to this one. Sky eye, we call it sky eye. We have three Dan Tians. One is one Dan Tian. Dan Tian is the center. Second Dan Tian is here. It's for your, all your organs. This is third Dan Tian. Third group. Relate the sky. Relate above. Also connect with the eyes. So it's called sky eye. People, if you're if this part all develop, pick up message, see cheap, see colors, many things, avoid dangerous. So at the end, this for health. This 
for everything balanced. So not just uh, if you're this part strong, your heart, your lung key, all the chi flow along. This part for spirit. So when this part you know develop, you sense things. Yeah. So if anything you know like uh, all this silent means something not right, you will stay away from it. So that's tomorrow. I will tell you why you live longer and never have accident because this part. More you develop senior. Some of them, they already developed a sky eye. My teacher is very good for them. They will know certain things beforehand. So we talk, tomorrow we talk about this. So this hand, now go on to the sky eye, like a triangle. And then go to the side, now go on to the Taiyang, you call it temple. This is also, it's a sky eye, but on sideway. Because sky eye is not this spot, this, this spot. Indian, you see them, they put a red marks here, also connect with that things. But it's not here, it's inside. This is just a front door, just like that door. And this is a side door. And this also, so that's why up here, this is a roof, it's your antenna. You all have antenna, but you all haven't pulled it out yet. My antenna is up. So even you don't see it, but I can sense things. <laughs> so more you practice, actually, your antennas is stick up and wider. It's like a, this, but nobody can see it. What people see, actually, if you, if Martin, the sky is open, if your sky is open, you can see it. It's like a, like those uh, halo. jaw halo. Buddha, Taoism, they all have this. But... This eye, not able to, won't see them. When you develop, you just relax. You see things about you. That's the antenna. It's a very beautiful antenna, not like the, the cockroach, <laughs> those things. <laughs> it's a, like, a rhyme here. Yeah. But not just that. More you develop, there's another things around here. But you need to develop here. First, one, one, two, three. It's just like you pour the water. You know, when it filled up, you run down another cup. So one, two, three, and it's all open. So here, this is only the front door. So and then the side door, and this is roof. Even we have a back door here. So when you practice more, the, the keeping monkey actually help you to open the back door. The chi can need to come up here and open. But if your chi, you know, like you under stress, the chi come up here, can't release, your, your side doors close, your front doors close, your roofs close, you get headache. That's how people get headache. Too much chi, too much circulation up here, headache. Or not enough chi, too weak, you feel dizzy. We need a lot of chi, but also we need the window, the roof, and the front door can circulate can get a good ventilation mm. of your head. Then your message, you can, you know, <laughs> this open and shiny for having this one. So, turn here. So it's all about the upper dante. And then, push up, look forward, don't look up. Some people, they look, look up will block the neck. Pull yeah. up before the spine. Yeah. And then bend down, leg straight for the kidneys. So palms face down. That's, I see some people, palms face up is wrong. Right? Up. up, when you lift up, only the waist, not the hands. Up, leg straight, the heart, arm straight. But pass down, you bend your knee, bend your elbow. Up, straight. Down, elbows down. Elbows bend your elbow. To the left side, for this kidney. For the right kidney. Up, right side, for the left kidney. Connect with the Yung Chuan point outside. So palm face down. Left, right, finish, directly, directly move to the center. Just that.